My name is Christopher Yu. I'm the John H. Chestnut Professor of Law. I also teach in the Annenberg School for Communication and the School for Engineering and Applied Science. And I also founded a center here called the Center for Technology, Innovation and Competition. Shockingly, most people, uh, probably common citizens alike, as well as policymakers, don't really understand how the internet works. And so a lot of my work is to try to draw that out, put it in plain English, and show people what the implications of some of those structural decisions we've made about the internet actually are. Engaging in Washington, D.C. has been a very interesting part of my work. Um, part, it's a wonderful synergy between scholarship and policy, especially the work in other countries has been really exciting too because you discover people in other countries don't look at the world the same way Americans do. And to have to defend the way you look at things and you, it really has a wonderful effect of bringing you back to the very basic first principles of why the law is structured the way it is and build step-by-step step an explanation of, of why we do things the way we do. I actually took a student group to Europe through Germany and Brussels to teach them about how EU makes technology policy. As many people know, the EU has become increasingly active. They had a big case against Microsoft. They blocked a number of mergers. They become EU competition policies all of a sudden has come, has changed from something that people could ignore to something that anyone who's doing technology-oriented work has to pay attention to. And I find that my students enjoy and benefit from me talking about personal experiences about how business people approach uh, policy issues because ultimately lawyers serve clients, there's some underlying interest and try to bring that element in the classroom to, to, uh, in ways that I think my students say help bring it to life and make it a little more concrete. There's a lot of architectural principles about the internet that are thrown around such as uh, modularity and the end-to-end -end argument and layering which I don't think are really well understood at all and so I'm trying to delve into them and really get digest the key technical concepts and make them accessible to policymakers, but also draw the key insights from them in ways that I think can benefit policy. And you know, I, I enjoy actually do some additional work in that right now in how presidential power plays out. I'm doing work on copyright and different theories. And it's just a wonderful time to be writing in law and technology because it's this wonderful intersection between what's going on with the underlying engineering, issues about the First Amendment, issue of how, what kinds of governmental organizations should be running these different parts of technology and um, it's moving so fast. One of the great things is it's never boring.